Now, this article is just confusing to me. <laughs> this article is just confusing to me. Dragon Ball. Five difference between when Vegeta turned Super Saiyan in the anime and the manga. This title fucking sucks! Think Dragon Ball five differences between when Vegeta turned Super Saiyan. How about Dragon Ball five differences between Vegeta's five differences between Vegeta and the anime and manga? That would have been better. All of this shit. <laughs> five differences between when Vegeta turned Super Saiyan in the anime and the manga. Whatever. Oh, five differences between Vegeta's Super Saiyan forms in the anime and manga. This is just a long ass title for no reason, but whatever. Let's start this. Many fans are familiar with Vegeta's Super Saiyan transformations in the Dragon Ball anime, but how does it differ from the manga? Not much, I'll tell you that much. How are they gonna come up with five? All right, they're saying Super Saiyan, all right? The way Vegeta turns Super Saiyan, remember this. They're comparing his Super Saiyan transformations. So let's see the differences between Vegeta's transformations in the anime and manga. Most anime adaptations of manga have some differences in how they represent the plot the plot points that happens in the series. Dragon Ball is no different. This is no different. One of the biggest point of interest in the series is the way that the Super Saiyan transformation works. Okay. Vegeta in particular has several different transformations and some of them are shown to be very different in the manga versus how they are shown in the anime. Here are five ways Vegeta's Super Saiyan transformations are exclusive to the anime and five ways they're exclusive to the manga. Alright, let's see. Number 10. Go straight into Super Saiyan Blue. Okay, this is true. Vegeta does go straight into Super Saiyan Blue. He has God, but he never shows it. He just goes straight into blue. All right. He, he has he has God. You can't transform into a Super Saiyan blue without the God form. It's a mixture of Super Saiyan one and Super Saiyan God. So anime go straight into blue. There are different levels that Saiyans need to hit in order to increase their power. First, they master through training one level of Super Saiyan and then the next. But where Goku first learns the ability to transform into Super Saiyan God, and from there learns Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta skips over the middle step and is never seen learning Super Saiyan God. Instead, he is shown as being Super Saiyan Blue on the next upgrade. Now, now here's what they're saying. They're saying that he, he went from Super Saiyan 2 to Blue. Like, they're saying that he skipped God altogether. This is false. Super Saiyan Blue is literally a combination of Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan God. How are we going to use this form? With, how are you going to get one thing and not the other and, and achieve it? That makes no sense. How is Goku going to become Vegito without Vegeta? Come on. It's fucking obvious. And he does go God later on. He had no reason to use God before. <sighs> if you said he just... It, it was a show and it wasn't one thing. But you're implying that he literally skipped a whole level. No, you cannot reach blue without God. <sighs> Whatever. Next. Manga. Becomes Super Saiyan God. And is showing him in the anime as a Super Saiyan God. <laughs> They're saying he never goes God in the manga. And yet, here's a screenshot from the anime of him in his Super Saiyan God form. Amazing! <laughs> oh my fucking God, bro. How fuck? <laughs> These people just contradict themselves in the manga however this step isn't skipped the manga actually shows the point in the middle where Vegeta has to learn how to become a Super Saiyan God before he is able to become Super Saiyan Blue all right so now you're saying that it make your make up your mind are you talking about what's shown or what or what he can actually do because in the previous one you said that he skipped Super Saiyan God completely but now you're saying oh no they just didn't show it make up your goddamn mind this allows the reader to see that every super, every saint has to go through the same process in order to achieve the next level of strength. Number eight, anime. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolved. All right. So they're saying in the anime, he has Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolved. And this is true. He does have it in the anime. He broke his limits in the Tournament of Power. 
his hair got a bit a bit uh, a stronger it's just strong blue it's not like cyan blue or whatever the fuck that color was it's just not it's not greenish blue or whatever that was in the regular super saiyan blue form it's just straight blue like regular blue he gets new aura and everything look at that it's beautiful although the cgi was a bit too much you could barely see him anyway this level of power is something Vegeta first achieves in Dragon Ball Super, which means that unlike the other transformations, this one did not appear in the manga first. This is a powerful mode that is actually past Super Saiyan Blue, which until this point has been the most powerful level that a Saiyan can, can achieve. Yes, this is the most powerful Super Saiyan form, I think. I mean, Broly, but whatever. <laughs> Broly first achieves this during the tournament of power when he's losing a battle and and desperate to win manages to break his own limits and become even stronger this is true this might actually be the most powerful super saiyan form i mean broly's uh full power super saiyan form is pretty fucking broken but you can arguably say that it's it it is um if you're saying it's you could say that it's just his own mutated version of super saiyan which is different from Kale's too. But if it is the same as Kale's, you could also say there's a possibility that his Wrath Mode is still active while he's transforming. So he, he he might be stacking two transformations on top of each other. I don't think anyone anyone uh, ever came to that conclusion, <laughs> which is a which is kind of a scary thought. <laughs> uh, but let, let let's keep going. Seven Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan evolved, but different. Okay. Oh my fucking god. What do you gotta say? And yes, it's an anime screenshot. Come on, man. You say this for the manga, and you're not showing us a picture from the manga. <laughs> Come on. What are you talking about? No, he, uh, I'm not saying he doesn't have it in the manga, but look at this. This is the anime. Wasn't that could you? Oh, let's go. <laughs> the anime introduces the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolved mode, but the manga does pick pick it up afterwards. However, the manga presents it a uh, pretty differently. All right, all right. Let's see what they do different. Surprise me. Where well, the anime version looks pretty similar to Super Saiyan Blue, aside from Vegeta having some slightly darker armor. And black black pupils. What? You know what? No, 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 no. They're right. All right, yeah, his pupils are black, but the irises are uh, shiny like Ultra Instinct. They're they're shiny and blue. All right, all right, all right. You you almost had me right with that one. I was about to uh lose my shit. Okay, I'll give them a pass. The anime looks pretty similar, having. Darker armor. He has darker armor. His uh, yeah, his body suit gets darker. And black pupils. The manga representation further changes the colors on this level, making Vegeta's hair a darker blue and giving him a new aura that appears around him. Now here's the issue. They're saying they make his hair a darker blue. This is true. I mean, I was gonna make a joke and saying, how can you say that when um. I mean, <laughs> the manga's in black and white. So first of all, there really is no uh no difference in color. But I want to see something about the aura. They're saying that they have different aura. So you know what? I think it might be right. They have all that little nasty shit all over. All right, his aura is drawn differently in Super Saiyan Blue Evolved in the in the in the uh in the manga. I'll give that to them. It's it's more rougher. Okay. All right, I'll give that to you. All right, not bad, not bad. Not, all right, I'll I'll give that to you. It's, it's slightly, it's a slight difference. It's not a big difference. You wouldn't be able to tell unless you looked at uh, both of the transformations side by side. Okay, it's an artistic thing. Whatever. Anime achieving new levels during battle. Uh, he's fighting Topo. 
Goku and Vegeta are rivals in both anime and manga, and they use each other's power levels and skill in order to motivate themselves to become stronger. But in the anime, Vegeta can be seen more often using des using desperation during battle and the strong desire to win against his enemies as a reason to level up. Beyond this, just frustration as at Goku. Beyond just frustration at Goku. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolved, for instance, is achieved during a tournament of power, where in the manga, he learns it after being frustrated, Goku has surpassed him in battle. Okay. So, yeah. Number five, manga. Uses Super Saiyan God tactically. And you know what, they're right. I can't even, I can't argue with them with this one. Once Vegeta has learned a Super Saiyan level, he's able to use it at will. And he doesn't necessarily have to go full power all the time. In the manga, he uses this ability strategically. Since the more powerful Super Saiyan levels take a lot of stamina and use a lot of energy, Vegeta will sometimes switch back into lower mode. Like, into a lower mode like Super Saiyan God in order to conserve his power and put the energy he needs into a particular move he's doing instead of being at top power all the time. This is true. Um, when he fought Goku Black in the manga, he stayed in his Super Saiyan God form for the majority of the fight. But the moment his fist was about to land on Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, or whatever, he would turn into a Super Saiyan Blue at that very moment of impact and then go back to Super Saiyan God. Goku should use Super Saiyan 3 like this. Well, he should have, but it's really... Did he even master that form? <laughs> I mean, there's really no point in using Super Saiyan 3 anymore. It's, it's obsolete. You have Super Saiyan God. Oh, yeah. Number four. Anime. God Final Flash. God Final Flash? I don't remember this in the anime. Let's see what picture they have. What the fuck is that? That doesn't look like an anime. That looks like a fucking video game. I remember that move. That's from Dragon Ball Heroes. He never, and I mean he never, used that in the entire anime series. I'm pretty sure people would have made a big deal about it if he did. Look at that. One purple ball and one regular. Nah. What was this? What was this? I don't remember this in the anime. And I thought this was about transformations. I thought, what? They couldn't come up with, 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 uh... Five reasons that the transformations were, were different? This is an attack. This isn't a transformation. So, that's another fuck-up. Two fuck-ups in one entry. Amazing. CBR. <laughs> you and Screen Ramp should just do a, 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 a collab of fuck-ups. Because this is disgusting. <laughs> Anime. God Final Flash. What was this? <laughs> One of Vegeta's moves that doesn't appear in the appear in the manga is the God Final Flash. It doesn't appear in the anime either. <laughs> what? This is pretty much Vegeta's most powerful move, and he can do it once he has once he has become Super Saiyan Blue. The move originated in the Super Dragon Ball Heroes arcade game and is only in the Super Dragon Ball Heroes arcade game. <laughs> And it is the and it is only used in the anime during a tournament. Pop what was this? What was this? What? What? Oh. He did <laughs> Bro, he never used this attack. He never used in the tournament of power when he used the final flash at the beginning of tournament power. Use the Super Saiyan Blue, yes. But it was a regular final flash. Combined with Goku's Kamehameha to make the final Kamehameha. I believe he used it again during the tournament of power. I'm not sure later in the fight, whatever. And again, a regular final flash. Where are they getting this bullshit from? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Come on, man. Manga. It cheese perfected Super Saiyan Blue. Puts a picture of Super Saiyan Blue Evolved. Alright, that makes a lot of sense. They just... They just <laughs> oh my god, they fucking suck. They suck at this. Oh my god. So <laughs>
This is Super Saiyan Blue Evolved. This is not perfected Super Saiyan Blue. But alright, whatever. Whatever you say, <laughs> CPR. Vegeta's, <laughs> Vegeta's transformation into the perfected Super Saiyan Blue form occurs only in the Dragon Ball Super manga. It essentially looks the same as Super Saiyan Blue, except for a lack of an aura around him. This is true. Where Super Saiyan Blue lacks the ability to remain in the state for a long time due to its drain on stamina only in the manga. This number just doesn't state in anime. Perfected Super Saiyan Blue puts him in such a powerful state that he can remain that way for as long as he needs to during battle. Alright. Back to you, you went back to uh, transformations like this list was supposed to be, but the, the, the image isn't perfect to Super Saiyan Blue. Next, anime training to become more powerful than Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan e Evolved. Um, no, <laughs> all right, yeah, he's training, but he wasn't training specifically to surpass this this transformation specifically. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure. The only version of Vegeta that's actually making real progress at this moment is the one in the manga. But, I digress. Whatever, let's go. Despite the fact that Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolved is in... Just call it Super Saiyan Blue, please. It's an incredibly powerful form that seems like it would be almost impossible to defeat. Vegeta is always looking to get stronger. In the anime, where this form originates, he spends a lot of time training. When? <laughs> Whatever. I know, he, he does train. It's, it's what they do, but... Um, the anime ended after this, so we only, only after see him training, like, at the end of the anime. No, whatever. He is all... He is always... What the fuck? Oh, as he has always does throughout the series... In order to surpass even this form, he's devoted to continuing to become the most powerful fighter he can. Are you saying that he doesn't do this in the manga? Are you saying in the manga he's lacking some sort of motivation? Are you saying? Are you saying that in the Dragon Ball Super manga, after the tournament of power, Vegeta sat down on the, uh, on the couch, opened a bag of potato chips, and just ate until the moral arc? Are you saying that he did not train at all? Are you saying that Vegeta became lazy and gave up on training until the moral arc? <sighs> what the fuck? Number one, manga, galaxy, this isn't even in the transformation! This list was supposed to be differences in transformations. Why are you showing an attack? And why are you showing a fighter's, a fighter's screenshot instead of a, a panel from the manga? I hate this list. I hate this list. I hate it. I'm trying to hold back my yawns because this shit is just. Oh, this shit is. This is tiresome. Oh. <sighs> this is some tiresome bullshit. <laughs> Manga. Galaxy Breaker. Put the screenshot from Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Galaxy Breaker is a move that is used during the anime, but only once and very early on in the series. The movie used to kill Nappa. It's an incredibly powerful move that is likely that likely has the ability to destroy the world. I doubt it, but whatever. I mean, it didn't. <laughs> If Vegeta wanted to use it that way in a ma if Vegeta wanted to use it that way. Okay. In the manga, Vegeta regularly uses Galaxy Breaker, essentially during tough battles, since it has the power to take down even very formidable enemies. I wanna say he always uses it, but he did use it against Kaba in the manga. So I'll throw you a bone. I'll throw you a bone with this one, alright? Uh this list is fucking bullshit. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? I wanna know, I wanna know who wrote this atrocity. What's your name? Show me your little name. Liz Adler. Who is this? Who is Liz Adler? 
Liz Adler is a writer and an editor based in San Diego. <laughs> she holds an MFA in San Diego State University and a bachelor of I don't give a fuck. Hey, listen, Liz. Learn your facts before you write this bullshit. Damn! What is this? That was fake rage. <laughs> but. <laughs> Come on, man. Fire her. CBR, fire yourself. I was going to say that the writers are trash, but no. You're trash. <laughs> Stop. Get help. Get a professional Dragon Ball enthusiast. There's tons, there's tons of them on YouTube. Let them write your articles. Pay them good money. Because this, this ain't it, Chief. This is some bullshit. If I ever seen it. Now, this ain't even the worst. That's the worst part. This, this isn't even the worst that they've done. <laughs> they've done far worse in the past. Ugh, but whatever. You guys get the gist of it. This, this list is garbage. They're garbage. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to go now.